Hi everyone, in this video I will show how to import Metasploitable 2 Linux into VirtualBox and resolve any errors that show up as we proceed. Firstly, you would want to download the Metasploitable 2 Linux zipped folder from SourceForge. Uh, I'll put this link in the video description. So you'd click this green download button to download the zipped folder. To save time, I have done that already and I have it here. So you'd want to extract it. So in the extracted folder, you'd see five files. The important one for us today in this video is the VMDK file, which is the disk we will attach to a VM virtual machine template in VirtualBox. Next, we open VirtualBox and then we create a new virtual machine. You could give it uh, a name, Meta Metasploit Table to Linux. It can be anything, any suitable name. And then you'd select Ubuntu 64. Oh, sorry, Ubuntu 64. And then under the hard disk section, you would want to use an existing virtual hard disk file where we will choose that file that we downloaded from SourceForge. So you, you browse to the location. I have mine in this path, the Metasploitable BMDK file, and then we open. We choose the file here and it becomes chosen in this bar. And then we proceed to create a node the path. So with the default settings, we try to start the virtual machine. So we just click start. Comes up in this window and drag it over here. And then we see, we get an, a kernel panic error message. So let's power off, power off the virtual machine. And then with that error, let's change the CPUs. We increase the CPUs to two. So on the system, under the processor tab, you click and drag this, or you can enter the number here, two. It was one previously, but we made it two. Click okay. Two now shows up here and then we start again. <clears throat> so now we get another error message, time are not connected to IO APIC. So we, we have a suggestion to try booting with the no APIC option, which is what we're going to do next. So we'll power off again. And this time around, when we start, we hit escape key to go into the boot options. So as it's starting, you want to hit escape key to go into the boot options. So in this boot option, you can use E or echo to edit the commands before booting. So and you can use the arrow keys to navigate as well. But in the first option, we hit E and then we can see the commands. You could read more about the APIC from uh, Red Hat's website. So under the kernel, there are commands that will be run uh, during boot up, and that is where we're going to edit and put the no APIC. So we'll use E again to edit these commands. So we use space no APIC, right? You hit enter, right? And then you go over to root and use uh, B to boot. So now we see that it's gone past the error and it is booting. <coughs> so now we have the login prompt, we log in with MSF admin, MSF admin. So now, but now we've successfully come in. If you restart the virtual machine, 
that no apic command will vanish so to make it persistent we need to edit a file in the grub directory so let's go edit that file so i'm changing to root user so let's go see let's see what's in the boot grub directory so it is the menu.lst file that we are going to edit right so you want to use your favorite your editor i uh, use vim uh, grub menu.lst and then you want to search for uh, something that uh, is close to what we edited so let's do hd00 this um, which will be in the which will just be above the kernel command line <clears throat> so hit enter uh, we do next n for, ne for next we do n again we do n again and then we're here so we can see that we have the root and we have the kernel so you want to go down and hit i to go into insert mode to the end of the line you want to now enter the no apic okay so we've entered no apic escape to exit to exit the the um, insert mode and then you have a colon write and quit colon wq to save and to exit this file so we've done that and now when we restart this virtual machine the command will be persistent so we could shut down see how that works so we shut down and then we power up again All right, so the virtual machine has been powered off. It's been shut down successfully. So let's start again. And this time around, we should not need to enter the no APIC command. The kind of boot up ones. all right so we are we're here and we're and the virtual machine is up and we have internet access so thank you for watching if this has been helpful to you hit the like button and subscribe for more such quick setups